some work done and uh, I came a little bit earlier because I like to walk around the parking lot. It's quite a big parking lot. I do a few laps around the parking lot and it's quiet. There's really nobody here and so I really enjoy that. And um, I, as I'm walking, I listen to the Word of God. This morning I was listening to First Peter and Second Peter and just, you know, getting the Word into my heart and into my spirit and into my mind, you know, listening to it. You know, faith comes by hearing and hearing through the Word of God. And so I do that. I, I, I make that a routine in my life. I do that often. And I've been doing it for many years. Just listening to the Word, reading the Word, you know, feeding on the Word. Why is that? It is especially important today because we are living in a very deceptive time as Jesus warned us in Matthew 24 in the last days before he comes there would be a mass deception mass deception Jesus said many false prophets would arise and would deceive many so we're not talking about a few you know careless compromising worldly Christians we're talking about Christians who are, are, are actually genuinely uh, saved and, and serving the Lord and yet they're, they're lacking the Word of God because the Word is the truth that keeps you free from the devil's lies and from the world's agenda and ideology today. I don't have to tell you that. We're living in a time where it just seems like the world has all of a sudden exploded with its own ideology which is ungodly, antichrist system, uh, such deception, such uh, conspiracy theory so much and on and on and on and on and we need to be as as Christians Jesus said we need to be what wise as serpents and harmless as doves so in other words we've got to have the Word of God in us you've got to know what the Word teaches you've got to know what the Word of God that is forever settled in heaven has prescribed for your daily life so that you can be free from all of the entrapments all of the chains all of the darkness, all of the deception that is so prevalent in the world today that is leading even many Christians down the path of destruction. And I'm not being dramatic. I'm being very, very serious today as well. And let me just share with you why I'm passionate about getting this word into your spirit. You've got to, you've got to meditate on the word. The Bible tells us that day and night. Psalm 1. You know, blessed is the man that does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the way of sinners, or sits in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in what? The law of the Lord, and in God's law he meditates day and night. He shall be, she shall be, like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaf shall not wither, shall bring forth fruit in his season, and whatever he does, whatever she does, listen, shall, shall prosper shall prosper who prospers those who meditate upon the word of god how do we prosper in every way jesus said i came to give you life and life abundant when you are feeding on the word when you're meditating on god's word when you're living your life according to god's word hallelujah obedient to his word whether you understand it or not you obey it you trust god it is his unfailing word it will never fail and you are the one that's going to prosper in this very uh, demanding, difficult, uh, overwhelming time in which we're living. And this is what Paul writes in 1 Timothy chapter 4. Listen, he says, Now the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, speaks expressly that in the latter times, the last days in which we're living in, some shall depart from the faith. Talking about Christians who end up walking away from the faith. And why is that? Because they have lost their love for the Word of God. They've lost communion with Christ. They, they, they've, they've taken themselves apart out of the vine. They've taken themselves apart out of the vine. And now they have become isolated. They become uh, an open prey for the enemy because they're not meditating on God's Word. Now they're listening to all the lies, all the deception that is on social media today, all the worldly counsel, all the worldly attractions and they've walked away from the faith they have departed from the faith Paul said some will depart from the faith listen giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils seducing spirits and and the teaching of demons that's what Paul said and how is that even possible because the devil comes as an angel of light he knows the Word of God yes he does 
He knows how to use the Word of God to deceive even Christians. Jesus did, the, uh, the devil did that in the garden, or sorry, not the garden, but in the wilderness when Jesus was being tempted by the devil. And, and the devil would say, uh, you know, if you are the son of God, you know, do this or do that. And he knew the word of God. Jesus would say, devil, it is written. And Satan knew the word of God, but he corrupted the word of God to suit his own agenda. His, his one agenda is what? To steal, to kill, to rob, to all of that, right? That's what the, the devil's agenda is. And he does it well, and he knows how to do it, and he's doing it today very successfully, even among Christians who are no longer, you know, meditating upon the Word of God, no longer sitting down listening to the Word of God, you know, receiving the Word of God from their pastors. You know, it says in Jeremiah, I don't recall the chapter, but it says in Jeremiah, perhaps chapter 6, God says, I will give you pastors, listen, according to my heart, and they shall feed you, with knowledge and understanding. I will give you pastors according to my heart, says the Lord, and they shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. And today we're living in a time where a pastor's influence is not even received anymore. Uh, you know, it's just another voice of many other voices that Christians listen to every single day, so often being contradicting, so often being, you know, uh, confusing. And when you end up on that path of confusion, then you might as well just quit right there because the Bible says that confusion and every deadly work is what comes out of that. Every deadly work. That's why you need the Word of God. You need to, you need to spend time, quality time, not just getting through your Bible reading. I'm talking about sitting down, praying into the Word, meditating on the Word, you know, hungry for the Word of God. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled, hallelujah. Jesus is saying, I'm going to watch over you. I'm going to protect you because he is the word. When we're ministering the word of God into our spirit, we're ministering Christ, hallelujah. And then Paul gives another warning in 2 Timothy chapter 4. And he tells Timothy, he says, Timothy, preach the word. Be instant. Be ready in every season, Paul says. Why? Because the time will come when men will not endure sound doctrine. They won't want to hear the truth of God's word. And they give themselves over to teachers because they have itching ears. And they and they bring the Paul says they heap to themselves teachers because they have itching ears who are gonna speak to them fables, stories, entertainment, all of that other thing, you know? Uh, a, a man centered gospel, not a Christ centered gospel but a man-centered gospel. What is it? What is in it for you? And I'm seeing that happening today. People will come to church for what's in it for them. People will, you know, get involved in ministry for what's in it for them, not for how God can use them to be a blessing and a ministry to the people around them. I'm seeing that happening today, and that deeply concerns me as a pastor. And I believe that what's happening is that we have rejected the Word of God, and we have received, uh, you know, stories and entertainment. We've received things that sound right, that sound true, and yet they're leading people on a path of destruction. So that's what Paul was warning about. You know, he says that we're to, to feed on the Word. We're to preach the Word. We're to hear the Word. We're to, you know, re receive the Word and follow the Word and live the Word. And by doing that, hallelujah, we shall never fall, hallelujah. And so that's my two cents for today. And I pray that it's encouraged you. I pray that it's challenged you. Pick up the Word of God, right? You can get the Word in so many places today. You know, not only in, a, in an actual, you know, paperback book, but you can actually get the Word digitally as well. And uh, listen to the Word, meditate on the Word. When you go to bed at night, Put the word on. Let the word, you know, feed your spirit, even as you're sleeping. Hallelujah.
and it's going to make a tremendous difference in your life. You're going to you're going to walk in freedom, hallelujah. You're going to walk in faith, glory to God. You're going to walk in power and authority and anointing of the Holy Spirit, glory to God. As you minister on the word of God into your own spirit, you will bring forth fruit in your season. And whatever you do, whatever you put your hand to, it will prosper in the kingdom of God. God is calling you to prosper. He's not calling you to be defeated, to be overcome and overwhelmed by the things of this life. He's calling you to be set apart for such a time as this. He's calling you to be victorious. He's calling you to walk in victory, to walk in truth, to walk in freedom, to walk in love, to walk in you know the power of the Holy Spirit, to be able to set others free from the darkness and the blindness of the enemy because they have fallen away from the Word of God. Some shall depart from the faith. Why is that? Because they've given heed to seducing spirits and doctrines, teachings of devils and demons that come forth through false prophets and false teachers today that are rampant in the church. But we need to hear a clear word of the Lord. And God has given pastors today according to his heart who shall feed God's people with knowledge and understanding. I want to encourage you today, get into a church where the word of God is being preached undiluted. The word of God is being preached, you know, not watered down, not compromised, not, you know, people pleasing, but where the word is preached in power and demonstration of the spirit. As the apostle Paul said in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, he said, my preaching was not with enticing words of men's wisdom, but in the demonstration of the Spirit and of power, so that your faith should not rest in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Hallelujah. Find yourself a church where the Word of God is being preached with power and demonstration of the Spirit. God bless you. This is Pastor Mike Knoll. Thank you for tuning in.